The TTP in Pakistan, that's the Pakistani Taliban, for those who don't know, has mm -hmm. broken ceasefire agreements with the Pakistani government. Any thoughts? Yeah, we, I, we, I mean, this just came out, okay? So I have downloaded all the stuff that I'm supposed to look up on this, uh, but this this just happened. Like this um, afternoon. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't yet thought about it, but what, do, what are your first... I mean, okay, so it's hard to say... We told you so. I mean, okay, no, no, we shouldn't say it. Never mind. No, okay, never mind. Shh, get that. Um, okay, so this is what we were expecting. So this is what, you know, so, um, and this is Pak uh, Pakistan has created a monster that that is attacking it from all directions, right? All forms of Islamism. Uh, but in, including the Taliban. So the Taliban is, so basically like the Taliban to Pakistan is kind of like um, ISIS to Saudi Arabia, okay? So mm -hmm. we, we like, look, you look at Saudi Arabia and they like, they were at, after 1979 and as a response to the Islamic revolution in Iran and the proxies that the, um, the Islamic Republic of Iran was creating everywhere around the world, uh, Saudi Arabia responded to that by spreading Wahhabism and building mosques and madrasas specifically for endorsing Wahhabism around the world, uh, which, is, which eventually led into uh, groups like Al-Qaeda and um, ISIS, which are which consider the House of Saud to be their mortal enemy, right? Like It okay. even led to an attack on the Kaaba. Yeah. Well, I mean, that no, it didn't lead to it. It started by that. But yeah, okay. It started by a tech company. but no, but yeah, okay. So, um, but 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 the Saudis are well, well, a lot more okay. So in in Pakistan, um, that the same thing happened when they are responsible for funding the Taliban um, and other Islamist group uh, that are not interested in you know the I, the concept of Pakistan is not something that these people are interested in. Right? These people are completely loyal to different. Um, ideologies beyond the borders that have been defined by imperialist powers right um especially the taliban i mean funding and supporting the taliban by pakistan's army it was such an is such an obvious anti-pakistani thing to do uh because 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 the taliban is the pashtun group which is that resides on both sides of the border of in Pakistan, right? So you, when you're funding something that it's that is not based on the recognized borders, you're basically actively attacking the legitimacy of the borders, right? You're you're funding a group that is exists both sides of the border. Like how could you fund anything that is more destructive to the integrity of your country, right? So Pakistan is being attacked from within, right, with the TLP, and from and based on its borders, but on both sides of the border, by the Taliban, Afghanistan Taliban, and the Pakistan Taliban, um, these are these are the most existential threats to Pakistan. It's based on these groups that they don't create, that they created themselves. But it's not like this is not something that they they didn't recognize. Okay, the problem is that uh, a lot of second ranking and third ranking um, people within Pakistan's army have been so you know mixed with the with these groups that the back and forth like with the membership of whether they have been so influenced by each other's ideology that you can't see where the lines are it's not that black and white right so within pakistan's army you have a lot of people that are so sympathetic to these groups that they're more loyal to this to these ideologies than the concept of pakistan itself right and this is so dangerous like the, these these attacks from within and also the TTP, even if the chances of it being an existential threat to Pakistan being like less than one percent, it's still very very high. Like there's nothing that threatens uh, Pakistan into becoming a failed state more than this the rise of these radical groups, um, and we're talking about a nuclear state. Okay, like this is a threat to the entire planet. And even if it's like, um, you know, 
if it, if it, even if it goes from one tenth of a percent to half a percent, um, it's still extremely high. Okay, we're talking again. We're talking about a country with more people. The people have, that have actively are in favor of using the country's nukes against a country like France. Okay, and these people are the greatest threat to the to the civilian government. And the only thing that is standing in the way is the army, which is the independent from the civilian government. But the army itself is using these groups, funding these groups, and is sympathetic to these groups. This is like this should raise alarms. This completely, by the way, legitimizes the United States involvement in Pakistan because people are like, why are we giving aid to Pakistan? Well, I mean, yeah, you, you want to see uh, the TTP or the TLP get their hands on nukes? So. There, there's your answer. Anyways, sorry, I went long. Yeah, no, the uh, sometimes it just feels like Pakistan is a country that's just like an alphabet soup of different militant groups. Like, <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.